Shepherds, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It does make a big, big difference when you do that. So today, folks, I wanted to show you a really cool trick that I use fairly often when I'm recording with delay pedals, because I've done this for a while and I really love how it sounds. And I've also seen this spoken about on a few forums recently. So I wanted to give you a quick demonstration today of how I do this. So essentially what it is, is stacking delays in series. So you have one delay pedal doing its business and then the, your clean signal and those delay repeats then go into another delay pedal. And what this does to my ears is it gives you a little bit, not entirely, but a little bit of the effect of a multi-head tape delay. It is a very different thing, but it's a similar type effect. So I'll show you with the two main pedals that I use how I do this, and then add a third pedal in at the end just to, just to get really extreme. So the first pedal I use is the Analog Man ARDX20. So my clean signal today just sounds like this. And with the Analog Man, it's this. So that's kind of set up as your standard sort of edge type dotted eight delay thickener. So a really nice, warm sounding, meat and potatoes analog delay. But what I then do, and the ARDX20 does have a loop so you can affect just the delay repeats. I'm not using that, I'm running the ARDX20 directly into the Jam Pedals Delay Llama. Now I've got the Delay Llama set slightly longer, and as you'll notice the repeats are slightly cleaner and brighter than the ARDX20. <laughs> So it kind of sounds almost like it's going into oscillation on the repeats because it's quite bright and gets very thin. So it's, it's a fairly tape voiced delay or as much as you can get a BBD, a BBD delay sounding like tape. So it kind of thins out and has a good amount of fidelity to it. But where the magic really happens, I think, is stacking the ARDX20 into the Delay Llama. Because what this does is it lets the Delay Llama repeat your clean signal and the delay repeats from the ARDX20. So you end up with this sort of effect. So it's not set to extreme, but as you'll hear, you kind of get a, a rhythmic effect of the two sets of uh, delay repeats kind of fighting against each other. which, as I said, gives you a little bit of that kind of multi-head tape type sound, but it's great for thickening out your sound and giving you some really ethereal type tones. So it's a really nice effect and it's certainly different to using just one pedal with the repeats and the mix turned up. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a third delay pedal on the front end of those two. So this is a really lovely delay pedal. I need to do a full demo of this pedal soon because it's super cool. But this is the Fairfield Circuitry Meet Mord. And it's a very dark sounding delay, but it has a really cool modulation on the repeats that's kind of random. So it gives you a little bit more of that sort of mechanical tape-like thing, whilst the repeats sound nothing like tape. The modulation is a little bit more mechanical. So that pedal sounds like this. <laughs> So 
So it's set almost to the point of self-oscillation, but not quite. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the meat mod into the ARDX20, into the Delay Llama, so we can get it, so we have three delay pedals all kind of repeating the delay pedal before it, or the two delay pedals before it, and it creates this huge ambient wash that you can just get lost in, especially when sitting in front of the amps and they're super loud like they are today. <laughs> So the effect is absolutely magic and I did kick on the Guru's sinusoid there for a bit of uh, spring reverb and uh, tube driven trem as well just to make it extra ethereal. But it's such a cool effect and you know you can do that sort of thing fairly easily with plugins and digital multi effects and delays and things like that. But you can do it in the analog realm as well with amazing results. Now you're kind of stuck with that sound and those repeats unless you actually get down and move the knobs. But once you get them dialed in and the delay times are kind of bouncing off each other in a sort of musical way, the effect is amazing. And I love recording with those sorts of sounds because they just create a wash of sort of lovely analog delay goodness. So do you like doing this? Please do let me know in the comments underneath um, which delay pedals do you like doing it with. For me, the ARDX20 and the Delay Llama pair together really, really nicely. And I'm absolutely in love with the Fairfield Meat Mord. I do need to do a full demo of that soon. But uh, let me know which pedals you do this with. Do you like stacking other types of effects and modulations and reverbs and things like that? Please do let me know in the comments. I love chatting nerdy guitar stuff with you guys. So thank you, folks. Uh, please do carry on subscribing to this channel. It does make a huge difference when you do that. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.